8.3, we're going to graph general rational functions. Okay, so that word general implies that we're just going to open it wide open to any kind of possibility for a rational function. Um, so any kind of rational function. So what's a rational function? Okay, well, a rational number uh, we usually like to call more uh, more often fractions, right? So that's what that's what these functions are. They're just fractions, something uh, in the numerator and something in the denominator. Something goes up here, something goes down here. Um, when you put something in for x into this function, you'll get a rational number. Um, so let's talk about what goes into the numerator and what goes into the denominator. We're going to get a polynomial up here and a polynomial down here. So a polynomial in the numerator and a polynomial in the denominator. Okay. So this polynomial is going to have like a, an x to the biggest power uh, here and then we're going to have x to the to the next largest power so m minus 1 and and then we'll have an x to the m minus 2 and so on so we'll just let's say we'll skip all that and we'll come all the way down to the bottom we might have a we're going to have to grab an eraser here um then we'll have a just an x to the first power and then we'll just have like some constant out here right and if all these are going to have uh, coefficients so this is how we'll we'll state a coefficient in the numerator here we'll just say this is the coefficient right and we're just numbering the coefficients here this is the mth one this is the m minus one -th one and so on this would be like the first coefficient and here would be just the constant okay so it's like the first second third fourth so far so forth the uh, coefficient all the way up to the nth one and the the constant the one that doesn't have an x with it we'll just say it's a sub zero so a sub zero a sub one a sub two a sub three all the way to a sub m whatever m is whatever that power of x is at that point um, down here in the denominator we're gonna have we'll just use different numbers because this is gonna have an x and it's gonna be the the highest power that you have in the denominator but it may not be the same as this power so we'll just say whatever it's n right so that'll be uh, we'll say b instead of a. Just want to differentiate here. Uh, b sub n, b sub n minus one t times x to the n minus one, and we'll go all the way down to b sub one times x to the one plus b sub zero. Right. This looks kind of complicated, but it's just a polynomial over a polynomial, and you know what polynomials look like. So we're gonna have something up here and something down here. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do to graph these, um, we'll just go through a few steps. They don't necessarily have to be in this order, but they're just the order that I think in. So um, we're going to look at the, um, the vertical asymptote. Okay, so the vertical asymptote. Then um, we'll look at the horizontal asymptote. Then we'll look at some x-intercepts. Um, and then fourth, we'll plot some points. And there will be a, uh, a specific strategy to uh, finding the, the least number of points that we need to plot and finding the, you know, the right places to plot these points. Um, and by the way, we may find ourselves with more than one vertical asymptote. So let's pluralize that. So vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptote, only going to be one of those, not any more than one, just one, uh, if any at all. And then uh, x-intercepts, and we're going to plot some points. Okay. And we will talk about, in the sample problems, how to find the vertical asymptote and why it's that way. And, and so forth for each of those. Okay, so 
I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.